kitchen. <laughs> yeah, there's no background noise here. <laughs> Are we ready? Today we're going to be making Billy's Heath Bites. Everyone wanted to challenge me, so I accepted the challenge. We are going to have a half cup powdered sugar, eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, and I took one cup of Heath ground bites. That's going to be a mixture. Then we're going to take these awesome vanilla wafers and put a little scoop on that. And we're going to cover them in the Heath crunch. Everyone wanted candy bars, and I'm like, how can I make candy bars? So here's my attempt with Hilly <laughs> Billy's Heath Bites. Are you ready? Let's get started. You just take your cream cheese, la brownie, and the powdered sugar. The reason why you use powdered sugar when you're making little things like candy bars or something like that is the powdered sugar dissolves much faster and won't be granulated. And we're going to mix this up first before we add in the chocolate heath bite crowned up candy bars. There we go. Yes. Before we add in the ground heath candy bars. But I thought this would be a really good little fun simple little sweet treat to have since everyone's wanting a candy bar. Now we're going to add in a little ground beef. Oh. I could just eat it like this. All right, we're going to cream together all these bits here. We just got a really good scraper I'm using, and I use another scraper to clean the scraper, so that way it all mixes together really good. I'm gonna snitch a little. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take and set this aside. You get your wax paper so it doesn't freeze to the dish, not like that's ever happened. Now we're going to take the cookie and we're going to put it upside down. I'm going to take a little scoop and just put it on each one. Okay. We made just about 20 and you're going to cover each bite with this crunchy coating. It's okay to have extras because we want to get the whole thing covered. Ooh, this so good. Then we're just going to put these in the freezer for about five minutes. And we'll have a nice, delicious bite of some awesome cream cheese and a heat bar on one with a lovely little cookie crunch. This is called making a fun mess. Because remember, when you make a mess, you learn. I'm going to put these in the freezer and see you guys back in five minutes. All right, we got our Philly heat bites all nice and cool. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. I think this is as close as you could get to a Philadelphia cream cheese candy bar. Mm. I did the uh, vanilla wafers. I did them low fat because they're a harder cookie. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to describe it. It's so good. It's sweet. It's crunchy. It tastes like a candy bar. <laughs>
really is awesome candy bars. We have gotta try them. Really fast, really easy. I made 20 with the eight ounces, so I would say they're about two servings each. I don't know. Oh, man, these are awesome. Oh my gosh, you're so good. And the chocolate, the chocolate crunch on top. Mmm. It's perfect. It's like not too sweet. Oh my gosh, you're so good. Mmm. Well, to all my friends that uh, tried to challenge me, I laugh at you. <laughs> and for all the friends that run the states that wanted the candy bars, guess what? Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're awesome. But now you know how to make them. Mm -mm -mm.